Hello everyone and welcome once more to my channel. I want to share with you my latest uh, purchase, well my latest big purchase. I do have a few other bits and bobs to share with you in the next video that I have been buying but this is so big and exciting that deserves to be on its own video. So this is the box it came in. Of course this box came inside a cardboard box but like this tropical print magnet fantastic very good for storage I did purchase this from matchesfashion.com as you can see up here matches really cool website very a uh, good and fast uh, so uh, sales service over the phone so you don't need to fuss about like what was your username what was your password because I always have these problems like when you go on one of those websites that you don't really go that often and you try to purchase something you seem to be like 10 minutes fighting with the computer to just purchase the thing. So on the phone it's much, much easier. It says that uh, it was carefully packed by Faisal or something like that. Well, thank you very much. It was lovely. Here is my receipt, which I did purchase this quite a while back. I purchased this on 26th of March and today we are 14th of May. So it's almost two months ago, but when I did a uh, I, when I did wanted to buy this bag that morning, I saw it on mytheresa.com, went to purchase it, and as soon as it went uh, on sale, it went out of, out of stock, because it, it ran out, so I had to uh, check on the other webs and I, uh, websites, and I found it on Matches Fashion, but I wasn't sure, because I had never seen this style before, so I went on YouTube to see a handbag review and I did not see one. I couldn't find any, neither in English or Spanish. So I thought, wait a few weeks so I can do for you an unboxing slash reveal slash review. So if you're interested in the bag, you will know a few more things about it. So it comes wrapped in this tissue paper. And the handbag. You can guess it's from Balenciaga. This is my first Balenciaga handbag. I have Balenciaga shoes, but I did not have one of the handbags. And I can tell you it's not the city, because everybody seems to have the city. And you know, there was lots of reviews on that one, but not this one. So it comes in this beautiful white uh, dust bag that I have to say, the material is much, much softer uh, than the shoe dust bags. And this is my new baby. It's the classic Valenciaga mini bowling bag. So as it's the mini, I do imagine there is a bigger one, but if you go on valenciaga.com, there's only this size, so I'm not really sure. I think this is one of the styles that maybe have been um, under the radar and not many people have purchased it. So, you know, like normal people, like we don't work in the industry, don't know this existed or we don't know there is a bigger size, I don't know. I do love Valenciaga and I have been interested in designer handbags for quite a uh, while and I had not seen this before and I saw it and I fell in love with it because first it has the Alma from Louis Vuitton shape, the half moon, I do love the shape and I had really think about buying the Louis Vuitton one but I don't like the monogram uh, in neither color or the classic monogram in brown, I don't like that. And when you want to purchase the Louis Vuitton Alma in like normal leather, it just goes really, really expensive. Also, it's really, really heavy the back. So um, that really put me off of it. So when I saw that, I thought, well, this is perfect because I do have the Alma shape, but it's a bit more like rocky style. It has the long black tassels on both zips. The tassel here at, at the front pocket and of course at all the Valenciaga handbags it has the small mirror. I have to say I think this bag has uh, too many tassels. This is one of the main reasons why I don't like the classic city. So I normally have this tassel because God help me, I will not cut it, you know, I will not alter Balenciaga bag. I have it inside and I don't really use that uh, from pocket. And I think like this look much better. It has all the uh, studs. You can see they're like in a black, matte color, kind of like waxy effect. I think they are much better than if they were the silver ones because it makes it a bit more uh, subtle. 
the two small silver buckles on both sides, the short handles with the classic, um, this bit, it explains in the small booklet that comes inside, it is actually made of leather, I thought it was a bit of rope, but it's not super, super soft. This leather has been treated to make it thinner and waterproof, if that's explained inside in a small booklet that I'll show you in just a bit. And I think the name of this leather is Hamilton Leather. Not 100% sure, I tried to uh, find some information on the web and I couldn't. I know it's goat's leather and I think that's the one that call it the Hamilton. That it's a bit like shiny and waterproof. I did waterproof it anyway though. And then let's open the back. Inside it comes with the long um, strap that I'll show you in a bit how it looks like. Let's remove all the stuffing and then on one side at the front we have the two pockets, like one big enough to fit your like Blackberry which is my phone and the other one a bit smaller which I normally have my lipsticks or a pack of tissues and then here we have the inside uh, zip with a shorter uh, tuck. Valenciaga, Paris, behind it says made in Italy, Fabrique in Italy and French and then it has a huge long number and it did come with the small booklet, well sorry this is not the small booklet, this is not much reading in there <laughs> This is the small booklet that it tells you the leather has been treated and the, to take care of it. Yeah, all that. This is the mold uh, protection. The information that tells you that uh, it's gold and what type of fabric is inside. The matches fashion um, tack. And also, which I thought was bizarre, I have never seen this before, it comes with a small swatch of the actual leather, which I think this, you know, this is good, because if you want to get matchy-matchy like everything, like you want the wallet or the shoes or something, you just get this with you and you will get the exact same leather color. And then inside, you can see it is quite big. I have used this bag to stay overnight at my parents with like um, a bit of clothing, a makeup bag, my creams to comb, my wallet, my reading glasses, my sunglasses and you know like tissues normal and it fits like everything you can see it's perfect then let's put the strap for you I have to say I am not a big crossbody bag fan until I met this bag it is perfect it is a very long strap so you can't really wear it over the shoulder with the strap because it looks a bit ridiculous. But you can wear it like three or maybe four different ways. So uh, you can carry this back uh, crossbody style. You can also carry it on your shoulder, which I don't recommend you because it's just so soft in here that just it slips off my shoulder so easily, so this will be like another way of wearing it, but not a very good way. You can also have it just here, ladylike style, on your hand. Or you can carry it just by hand. Also, I think what is fabulous about it is that the straps. Sorry, the straps, no. This long tag makes it like young and rock and roll. But if you don't like it, because sometimes I think they look a bit too rocky, you just put them inside. Close the zips, because you can still do it anyway. And it looks a bag with like a very, you know, like clean frame. Very, you know, like, I don't know, smart. So, yeah, this is all about my mini bowling Balenciaga classic bag, black in silver hardware. So I hope you enjoy my video and that you like my handbag. You know, thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!